The long-spine urchins are invasive to Tassie and have turned numerous kelp forests into urchin barrens. Definitely time to make them delicious. And what better way than a catch and cook competition? Tugging for Kenner. That's the December 2023 Tazbiro's Catch and Cook competition. Now this and the last Tazbiro's Catch and Cook comp have been a bit of a throwback to the initial Tazbiro cooking comp, Check Out Dat Rass and Eat My Kinner, back in May 2021. During this comp, we saw some stunning rass dishes, but the poor urchin was ignored. This time, we saw some sensational urchin dishes, and I'll definitely be nabbing a few long spines more frequently. Well, since, since you're ready, do you want to tell us about your dish? Or? All right, so we've got sashimi squid, nagiri, uh, with wasabi and a soy sauce drizzle. Then we've got the uni roe nigiri with sriracha. And then we've got bastard trumpeter nigiri. And then we've got just some bastard trumpeter sashimi with um, forakaki seasoning on top of it with some rasaracha. And that's a wasabi, soy, lemon juice dip if you need it. But they've all got stuff on them so they should taste pretty good. But you want more Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Alright, next we've got Rodrigo. Mm. So yeah, I cooked uh, risotto. It's um, uh, squid ink risotto with some cheese and some spices. And yeah, the urchin on top. Uh, sorry for the delay, but I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry, I missed you put the next one up. I think that's mine. Um, Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's <laughs> uh, um, ceviche, herring, kale. Kale, kale. Uh, Beautiful. Um, <laughs> yep, never caught one before, never made ceviche before. So, yeah. And it's got some um, peppercorns, a bit of urchin butter, and pistachio um, uh, <coughs> dukkha on the top. Yeah. Nice. And then I also made some um, uh, crayfish with urchin butter. Oh, wow. Awesome. Urchin butter. Yeah. Where's the butter? Oh, uh, it's that one there in the bowl. Alright. Crayfish right, and I was butter. looking at this, like, so where's the butter? I'm going to have some corn chips. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to be back. I did not plan that. No, that's Amazing. fine. Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> and then you put it back in the esky. Big uh, review. So this is, um, ta-da, my cob loaf. Um, it's a crayfish oh, wow. and urchin. Very cool. Um, cob, 
Uh, yeah, it's pretty basic, but um, yeah, it's got like a smoked crayfish um, sort of background in there, and just a just a normal urchin, um, some parsley, some uh, what else is there? Uh, spring onion, um, lemon, some a lemon zest, and some lime. Yeah, so um, yeah, just uh, spread uh, on some. On some bread there, and maybe some loose um, smoked crayfish, and away you go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Same script. And then the the dip. The dip. There's no. The dip. There's no kinner in that. Oh that's, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. That's a. That's just a side dish. That's yeah. not part of the judging. That's just my smoked <laughs> trout dip with crackers. Hey. And, and acidy bits to cut through the cheesiness, so enjoy that anyway. Nice. And then there's a squid that's almost gone. The squid, yeah, the pre, pre, pre game yeah, entertainment. Pre game was tasty. Yeah. Yeah, get into that shit. Yeah. Cool. It probably would have won if nothing else was here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad, but that was yeah. bloody good. Um, Jack. We got the pizza. I guess I'd describe this as excessively decadent. <laughs> nice. So it's got a cream fringe base with urchin roe mixed into it. I guess the base, and then it's got cray. One of them's got cray, one of them doesn't. Um, abalone, herring kale, and then it's got Ooh. olives, capers, um, boccaccini, feta. Um, bit of fresh, um, or like whole urchin on top with tomato and some garden mm. herbs. Don't yeah. anyone tell any of the restaurants about any of these dishes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these are all That's value for money right there. Yeah. They awesome. no, charge 80 bucks a pizza, though. Oh, yeah. A slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, down, yeah down this way, they probably could. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it's only that hours old. That's what you got to remember. All this is just hours old. Like, yeah. It's just yeah. Hours mm. old. Like, money, yeah, you, you couldn't buy this. You can't buy these experiences, hey? Like, we yeah. live the dream. Yeah. We literally do yeah. live the dream. These right. are special days. These are special days. <laughs> they are. Cheers, <laughs> for Cheers. I, uh, I, Cheers I live for these days. Yeah. 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 All right, then we've got some salad. Oh, just a bit of green chip, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit of green um, shit. Yeah, and, I, and because I didn't want to hurt Can you. Can you say yet. green shit with a Jamaican accent for us now? I don't know the Jamaican green, accent. How do you do that? <laughs> green, 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 green. Oh, sorry, um, losing yes, heat. Yes, that's just a, like a bull of base something something with I just I just didn't want to kill anything so I got some mussels and I just made like a mussel <laughs> calamari <laughs> oh, the mussels euthanized everyone did killing the <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't in the mood I just literally watched my dog die yesterday so I'm just like nah I'm not killing anything today bastard no, trumpeter fish stop yeah it's got yeah. a fish stop yeah then we've got a bit of extras of the risotto the risotto the risotto yeah and then I don't let's know let's, let's do Jenny first Jenny tell us about your dish uh, Salad, also salad. We have. I was wondering what the ice cream was for. Salad. Sorry, they're the best, they're the best camping tools that we've got. They, they can be multi use for anything. Yeah. And then I've made a fettuccine. Take a, take a whiff. Get into that, sure. <laughs> yeah, cool. So. Right. Bacon. Bacon is in it. Bacon. Bacon. Um, bacon the, cream, <laughs> the creaminess of that is only urchin butter. There's no cream in that. Um, wow. It's got That's shallots, bacon, jalapenos, chives, and there's some um, uh, parmesan to chuck with it as you desire. If you want it. No cream, cream. Just, go just, just go nuts. Just go nuts. Just the go nuts. The other things we got is the best buddy and most impressive catch. So real quick, does anybody have a buddy they want to talk about today? Well, I want to thank Kieran because he was like very patient, uh, like teaching me how to grab a 
crayfish. I didn't. I couldn't get it. You got it. You just didn't get it out. You got it a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thanks for that, mate. That's all right. Spent... It was good to see 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 you have a crack. Yeah. We had Thank to do it. It was challenging. Yeah, you got me under that hole, the craze, and grabbed the smallest one in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to also say thanks to Jack and to Sean for grabbing heaps of urchins because um, I didn't really get too many. So, Did, you want did, did anyone grab any of mine? No. No, we just got... <laughs> but they were there. <laughs> well, no worries, you know. I'm here to help. <laughs> Alright, so we'll jump back to Best Buddy real quick. <laughs> Sounds like we've got either um, Kieran for educating on crayfish or Ella for pointing out crayfish. So, if you'd like to vote for Kieran, please raise your hand. Can I vote? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, I think it's Kieran. Thank you. Right, well done, Kieran. Oh, um, pleasure. Best buddy. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen. I've seen Jack uh, wants to craze. Be best buddy was the weight belt, mate. I oh, just bought one. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. No one Excellent. That's all right. <laughs> All right, so the other one is most impressive catch. Mm. What have we got? Who wants, does anyone want to nominate themselves or nominate someone else for a most impressive what, catch? What, what did just... people catch today? Someone got a big cray. <laughs> yeah, because that soft at the end. Actually, the first cray I got, I went in blind because I couldn't look into the hole and get my arm at the same time. So I just poked in and like did braille. <laughs> Yeah, Cray braille. Oh, so I managed to pull them out. That nice. was not a bad start. That the big one? No. Uh, even so, that's just amazing. Yeah, the big one bumped into a rock and blocked himself. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think someone got a big leather jacket. I mean, <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. know. <laughs> it was like, it was like what, what you said, like, as soon as you get down, they go away, but then you're on the surface and they like come into your shop. <laughs> and I was like looking for a leather jacket since yesterday and yesterday I saw a huge one. And today I tried to see more and didn't see any more. And I saw this one and I said, oh, there you are. And it just came to me and I shot it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, what? What did you do? Why? It didn't even move. Like. It's suicide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what? But, yeah, it was fun, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't nominate myself because that was like <laughs> surface shot. It came to me and I was like, yeah. <laughs> put the knife and that was it. It was coming right for you. Stone in the squid, pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stone in the squid. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's Just <laughs> shooting squid. Squid snoot. Yeah. So tell us about that. Um, I saw some squid and I was like, oh. Um, Rodrigo needs some squid ink for his pasta <laughs> and then I was like cool I'm gonna shoot one and then I shot it and it, it didn't go through it just hit it and it just died and it floated away and then I just picked it up. <laughs> so all the, all the ink was in it? Yeah. Still. Yeah. Oh wow. Did not perfect. ink at all. I know. So I was like yeah, perfect. Right. That's like ideal. Yeah. That's how you yeah. got the colour. That's the... ideal. You shot some, uh, what did you get? Um, Herring kale? Yeah. Either, I'd either stone him or he just didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's always ready to die. Yeah. He sort of like, his phone. eyes, were, like, he flicked a little bit and then his eyes were still sort of buzzing around. So I didn't I think I stoned him. But he didn't move. Like, he just watched it happen. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll do a quick vote. So, for. We'll start with the squid that um, died instantly <laughs> and kept its ink sack intact. No flopper required. So hands up for that one. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I think it's unanimous again. <laughs> Vote what I tell you. <laughs> uh, congratulations, you have one. Oh, there we go. The fish grill. Fish grill. It's deluxe. And the winner for the Urchin Catch and Cook competition went to Sean with his delicious nigiri. Not only that, he made squid and bastard trumpet and nigiri as well. Very good, very yummy, very pretty to look at. Uh, thank you very much to Godai for supplying first prize, $50 voucher and some goodies. I'm sure Sean's going to really enjoy that. In fact, I think he's already used the voucher, so that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks to 
Kyle and Thomas for the weight belt for best buddy. And thanks again, Jack, for the deluxe fish grill for our most impressive capture. All right, until next time.